Welcome back everybody, I'm Lance Ringnog, and to subscribe, like, and comment it just helps me bring you more great content. We're a small channel, but we're having a blast. Today we look at the routine of Suni Lee. She is known for this amazing, extremely difficult and original sequence on the bars. Let's check it out and real slow it down and take a closer look now. She has a very late entry toe on, which gives her tons of power to apply to the reverse heck when she throws the bar behind her. She releases her toes from the bar and throws her toes down very early and with great power. This gives her the time she needs to complete the full range of throwing the bar behind her without flying over the bar too far. Look at that open shoulder angle. It also creates the counter rotation she needs to maintain a straight body as she flies backward over the bar. Look at this great stretch position. Just beautiful. Instinctively, she flexes her toes on the off chance she may be a bit close to the bar. With all the training and repetition, gymnasts seem to develop a spidey sense to feel and know where the bars are in relationship with their bodies as they perform. It's kind of cool. Here she has to catch the bar with almost the perfect amount of distance from the bar to have enough swing and momentum to perform the next trick, which is a layout backflip with a full twist between the bars catching the low bar. She swings through and initiates the twist just as she releases the bar, continues to twist and spots the lower bar while in the vertical position and as soon as she grabs the bar, she has to immediately push the bar away strong enough to get her toes on the bar for the next skill. If she over rotates too much here, there's no way she can get her feet on the low bar. So again, timing is very specific here. You can see here, she does get her toes on the bar very late and creates tons of power with this late entry. She releases her toes a bit later here than she did in the layout reverse heck, and this allows her to fly farther over the low bar and reach the high bar. Look at that extension in the shoulders and the power and the throw back to the high bar. That's pretty cool. She catches the high bar completely and perfectly extended. If she's too far, she falls. If she's too close, she doesn't have enough momentum or swing to perform the next skill. That's the real challenge to making these sequences consistent. Here she takes a small intermediate swing into her ginger. We can see she really does not have that much swing or power to apply to the ginger, which is a backflip with a half turn regrab, but she has great technique and completes the ginger comfortably. Here she completes her blind change or swing half turn to a handstand in a very straight handstand as she prepares to go into her Jaeger or front pike recatch. Boy, that's great extension once again. She uses her spidey sense to miss hitting her feet on the low bar and she has excellent timing in her tap beat or the rhythm of her swing into the front flip recatch. This is a very nice and tight clean pike position in her front flip. Again, she catches with enough distance to create enough swing to perform the next skill, which is a layout backflip between the bars and catching the low bar. You can also see she has a certain rhythm or tap beat in her swing to slow her rotation down in her layout backflip in order to catch the low bar in a much more vertical position closer to a handstand. We can see from this angle, when she gets her feet back on the low bar, she has tons of power to apply to her next skill, which is a toe on reverse heck with a half turn recatching the high bar. You can see this tremendous throw of the bar behind her as she she completely opens up her shoulder angle before she initiates the half twist. She lifts her head and spots the bar and grabs on. In her full turn over the bar, she stays very close to the vertical position as she sets up for a dismount, which